Hey everyone, this is Tony Suits Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to switch between Memcache and Redis for your WordPress website that's running on an open Lightspeed server. And if you don't have this configuration already set up, um, I have a video about how to do that with DigitalOcean Droplet. Um, so check that out. I'll link it in the video and at the end of the video and in the description, all the places. Um, but if you do have that set up and you wanna learn how to do this, then let's go ahead and check it out. So we're gonna be working with my website here. It's just a fresh installation of WordPress at this domain name. I have an SSL certificate installed. Um, so what we're gonna do is go into the WordPress admin dashboard and go into the Lightspeed caching plugin. Uh, you're gonna wanna have that installed uh, ahead of time. And if you did go with DigitalOcean, you'll have it installed already. So um, we want to pick the caching section here, like the main dashboard looks like this, but we wanna go to the caching section. And we have options here, but we wanna look at the object cache, okay? We're looking at the in-memory um, data cache here. So by default, maybe it's different for you, but by default, we have memcached enabled. Um, and you would think that it would be simple as switching from memcached to Redis because you know we have both of those enabled here um, and you know hitting save changes. But if we do that, we get this connection test failure and that means our current configuration is not right. And the reason that's the case is because we have our host pointed to the, the socket for memcache still. We have to change that to the, the Redis socket. So um, I have my cheat sheet over here and all this linked in the description below uh, for you guys so you don't have to like copy it from the screen. But we want to get rid of the, that socket and paste the path to the socket for Redis. And just to prove that that's the case, like these files actually exist, I, I was on here and I checked. So you can I'll do it again for you live. So um, ls, the Redis socket exists, and if we do an ls for the, the memcache socket, that one exists as well. So um, now, with everything in place, Redis selected as a method and the socket here for the host, we can click save changes and the connection test has passed because the configuration is appropriate. Now, if we wanna switch back to memcache, you know, if you're just testing out to see which one is better for your use case, then uh, we can click, well, again, you would think you would click on memcache, right? And you would think that you would um, type in the, the socket path for that into the host field, but, <laughs> If, if your configuration's like mine, you'll see that that actually um, it passed that time, which is odd. It, basically what I'm saying is you might have to play around with the ports here. So you can change the port to 11211, which it says that's the default port for memcached. So you can save that, should still work. Vice versa, the default port for Redis is 6379. I don't have to show you that, um, but that should give you a good idea about how to switch between the two object caching methods, Redis and memcached. So um, that's all I'll do for this video as far as the configuration settings. I know we can go a lot deeper than this, but uh, we'll just keep it plain, short, simple for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below as far as memory caching is concerned for open light speed, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm always looking for new video ideas, topics that you guys are interested in, so let me know, don't hesitate, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.